What is going on, Ive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about if you can gain fat from eating just one meal. Is it even possible for you to gain body fat simply from one huge, enormous meal? Can you break that threshold and actually store body fat in your body from the one meal? I get a lot of people who have this concern. They connect their one meal a day process to the fact that they feel that this is or isn't a possibility. So is it? Well, I'm going to break it down in this video. Stay tuned. Okay guys, before we start, this video is brought to you by yours truly, Fledge Fitness and the Fledge Fitness Jump Rope. If you haven't gotten yours yet, what are you waiting for? You can go ahead and click the top right hand corner, only $16.50 with the ergonomic design, aluminum handle, and swivel design. You can't go wrong with the Fledge Fitness Jump Rope. Of course, as always, the link will be down in the description below. And of course, thank you for your support. Now let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay so this question has been posed to me a bunch of times can you actually gain fat from one meal now the reason that a lot of people believe that this is the case and have this feeling is because someone might eat a cheat meal or completely eat processed foods and all of this junk food in one shot or binge eat in one shot and then feel bloated get on the scale look at how much the scale has shifted and so much emphasis is put on that thus the person just simply does this simplistic analyzation of what just happened they said well i decided to eat all this junk food i decided to eat all this food i felt very full after i checked the scale and i gained six pounds i went to sleep i woke up i still have those six pounds it's been a day i still have those six pounds it's been two days i still have it i must have just gained fat because of that one meal. Now, to break this down scientifically so that you understand somewhat of how the body works, weight gain and body fat are not one and the same. They are not. Now, there are elements that come from eating one meal or eating a large meal that can create weight gain that's transient, which means it'll go away. It's just an element of eating that one meal. It does not mean that you gain that amount of weight in body fat. So let me say this again. Body fat and weight gain are not the same thing things. Even if you gain weight because you ate food, that does not completely translate to body fat gain and most likely has translated barely anything to the body fat gain. Now, what do I mean? If you eat something that's junk food, for example, processed food, yes, you might be able to eat more of it because it might not be as satiating as something that's high in protein, something that's high in fiber, something that's more filling. But what happens is if you eat something that that's high in sodium, for example. Sodium takes water that's consumed and puts it into the cell. It helps put it into the cell, thus retaining water in the body. If you eat junk food, usually a lot of junk food carry a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of sugar, a lot of glucose. That then goes into the body and gets stored in muscle tissue on the body, in the liver as glycogen. That also holds water and has a weight to it. And also the amount of food that you consume that you're digesting also carry a certain amount of weight. So you can do a swing of five, six, seven pounds, depending on the effects of all the variables that come from eating, storing water, storing glycogen, etc., etc. So hopefully you understand that. And many studies constantly, consistently show this. There are overfeeding studies that they do just to see exactly how much body fat is gained from the groups that participate in this overfeeding scenario. For example, in 1995 in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, a study run by Dr. Horton, TJ, and colleagues looked at this specific scenario. Not with one meal, but they looked at it day by day for about two weeks. And they had the participants eat 50% more than their maintenance level. So 50% more calories consumed every single day without fail for two weeks. How much body fat did they gain at the end of those two weeks? They gained three pounds, just three pounds of body fat. 
eating 14 days straight, 50% over their maintenance level every single day. No more, no less, but above, 50% above their maintenance level. So basically every week they gained 1.5 pounds. Every day, less than a pound. And there's other studies like this that I'll go ahead and link down below, but every study that follows this system, this format, gives us very similar results. And they can do even four weeks or eight weeks. It's still in line with the numbers of the two week study. So to answer the question, if you can gain fat in one meal, I know I just said all of that, just broke all of that information down, but fat and weight gain, those are two different things. I hope I separated that in your brain, which one of the reasons why I don't really like the scale that much is that it's not nuanced enough and a lot of people get discouraged or get false hope because of the scale because they equate that number too fat so I wanted to separate that in your brain I wanted you to understand that fat yes it has a mass to it, it has a weight to it but it is not directly in line with your weight gain and weight loss your total weight gain and weight loss now can you eat one huge meal, the biggest meal you could think of or the biggest meal that you can actually pull off? Can you eat one meal and gain fat? Scientifically speaking, yes you can. Now does that mean that at the end of the day, you will have more body fat in your body than the start of the day. Not necessarily, it all depends. Whenever you eat, you are somewhat in this kind of fat storing scenario. Your body will store some of it as body fat, but the energy expenditure that happens at the end of the day will determine how much body fat you actually have in your body when you close the day. Did you end up consuming more than you needed so that your body stored it as body fat? If that one meal was an insanely large meal and it overcame all of the energy expenditure, the basal metabolic rate, the resting metabolic rate, even the thermic effect of eating all of those calories, physical activity, etc., etc. If all of that did not supersede the amount of calories that you ate, then you will be gaining fat. But even if you are gaining fat from that one meal that's just a huge large meal, it's still more than likely not going to be a pound of body fat for that day, which means you have so much opportunity to reset or to burn that fat that you gained, that minimal amount of fat the next day very easily. The same way you decided to eat more, you could decide to eat less the next day and either reset yourself or lose more fat overall. So you're also not locked in on a daily basis. For all of those people who like to do one meal a day, one meal a day creates a system where it's harder for you to be in that net positive energy balance where you are taking in more energy than you need for the day, as well as all of the hormonal elements that it carries with it to help you burn body fat specifically to partition body fat within your body. But if you think that it is a get out of jail free card where you cannot gain fat at all when you're eating, that's not the case. But also on the flip side of that, it is very difficult to gain as much fat as you probably think you're gaining from eating a lot of food in one day. As all these studies show consistently, that is more than likely not the case. You more than likely did not gain six pounds of body fat. You probably at most maybe gained 0.3 or 0.4 pounds of body fat, which when you sit back and think about it is not that much. Don't let that derail your entire process if you are inside a specific regimen to lose weight or to maintain the weight that you have. Adherence is key. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And of course, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and put my patrons from my Patreon right up here. And of course, as always guys, I'll see you on Wednesday for another FAQ. <laughs> Peace.